This was not a video I was actually planning on making today, or maybe anytime soon, but I just ordered a talon grip for my M&P shield, because every M&P shield should have a talon grip, and talon sent me this brand new design for the M&P shield. So, the M&P shield design from Talon has been one of their most popular, and it's uh, several years old, but um, as good as it was, they have redesigned it because they now have even better production capabilities with their laser cutting process that allows them to do far more intricate design than they were able to do just a few years ago. So, they have redesigned the M&P shield and so I'm going to go ahead and install it. I will do a side-by-side -side later uh, just to show the two different versions of the grip but if you are one of the many people that have installed an M&P talon grip and I've installed several myself on several M&Ps you're familiar that they are sort of the front wrap and then they had those sort of finger tabs that touched and met at the back. They've now gone to a rear wrap design for the shield, which is different. This is one of the most important steps because this is what is going to make that grip stick for years potentially. Okay, so peel the adhesive back off of our grip. And I'm going to go just past, I'm going to go past the back strap area and I'm going to cut this to make it easier for me to work with and also to preserve part of the grip. Alright, let's get this over here where you can see what I'm doing a little bit. And i lay this down on here. You can reposition this tape quite a few times, but I always try to reposition it as few times as I have to because every time you do that you're probably reducing the quality of the adhesive just a little bit. So, boy I laid that down on there just about as just about as good as I could have expected to. It's nice when you have, like you have the M little M&P medallion logo right there to line it up with. You've got these curved lines along the grip. So there's a lot of reference points here to line your your grip tape up with. Okay. Now let's go ahead and peel the rest of this off. Lay it around here. You want to be careful not to uh, put bubbles of air underneath it or let it fold on itself or anything like that. And I'm just touching it down lightly at this point. We'll get to the the real stick em part in a minute. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now, because this is now a rear wrap, we're going to lift and so we're going to bring this around here, like so. Tack it down good, and then let this go back over the top of it. Now I mentioned that the uh, cleaning it with the alcohol rub was one of the most important steps. The other most important step 
is to apply some heat. Okay, we get it nice and warm, hot even, and we smush it. If you got any little wrinkles or bubbles or anything like that, you work that out. But I find that is very rare with Talon installs. If you lay them on good and wrap them around good, they don't usually have any kind of bubbles or anything. I was just at Talon a week ago, a little more than a week ago, and. Uh, all they kept saying the whole time I was there was, isn't it time for you to leave? <laughs> so that looks good. There is our rubberized Talon grip install on the MMP shield. This is the brand new design from Talon. And it looks good. It fits great. Now, before I'm done, let me do the extended magazine part. Okay, same exact process. Everything is just much simpler and smaller here. I'm going to start right here. You can see the notch for that shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right there. And just wrap it around. Pretty simple. And it lines up just about perfect. So, let's put this guy back together. looks now that it looks like a pistol there we go the brand new all new all new redesigned talon grip in rubber ta-da that feels nice that makes a nice difference